This is a 5,000 pound tire that we had to get an industrial forklift to lift it. And today we were making a slip and slide loop. Kobe's trying to twist it sideways so we could get the exit and entrance set up. Oh Starting to get close. Yeah, I don't like that. Wait, keep going, keep going, keep going. The, the metal's gonna slip, I see it. Oh. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Just leave it there. Oh, oh. Dude. Wow, bro. Bro, you gotta hit it in your scooter. <laughs> right there, yeah. It moves oh. again. <laughs> oh. Wow. Just a man and his dog in a slip and slide loop. What are you gonna say when you're sitting in the poop? We cleared all of this, we need a whole new sheet anyways. We cut the excess about here. We're gonna put a harder uh, line of carpet around this. Cause if not, it'll take, it'll just rob speed from us. You yeah, cause it's too squishy. squishy. That, that stuff will just slow you down a lot. Especially when you're going into it, cause the G's, you wanna feel the G's instead of being cushioned. If you just go down, imagine that. Shoom, straight in. Dude, that's so hot on my butt. You have no idea how hot that was. Should I do it uh, in shorts? Yeah, yeah, you're good. One time's fine. <laughs> Shout out to Bridgestone, cause they did nothing for this. I was all me is the exit right here where the dog lies. This was a one to two day job for this because tomorrow I think we're filming it, but we're gonna get it done today. All right, give it the test run. Ready? Yep, throw it down. Oh, whoa, yeah, yo, yeah. she's gone. That was perfect around the loop. Yeah. Today is the day we're gonna be doing the loop of the <laughs> Super scared now like I was really excited as I was building it now There's like a time schedule of when we're gonna start and then it just it gets really nerve-wracking from that point It's Corey. Are you gonna be the first one to try it? Yeah, so you have to drop it. It's about what 35 feet you come down So then we loop this so we can go around and be guided straight into the tire and we're using the tires rubber To slide around there's nothing on the inside. So you come inside We're gonna spray the entire inside with soap and then fly on out through the tube. Don't do this at home. Guys, the energy today is so much different. Everyone's quiet. No one's like really crazy excited. Everyone's like, are we gonna survive or die? And it's gonna pull up right here. It just made me realize like, you come down this so freaking fast. And you're, and you're coming around that really fast. We're should doing I put right my now? helmet on? <laughs> you should dev I was literally gonna say put your helmet on. Drew, we're looking for a stunt man. Do you wanna be the first one to try it? Hell no. Why not? I'm not the first one to do it. If Corey goes down like three times and nails it, then I'll, I'll go down. If I said if he goes down, it looks easy, then I'll do it, but I will not be first to try. It's because there's nothing in the tire. It's that we're just gonna go around the tire. I know. I thought there was gonna be, I go up there, I'm like, I can't wait to see the plastic. How, how'd they make the inside look safe? And I'm like, it's not, it's not at all. You know how long it took Tony Hawk to do the skateboard loop? Like I get it that a skateboard is definitely way harder than this, yeah, but it took him time. like, probably like 10 or 15 years. Yeah, but these and are then, the funk bros. You're gonna try it? They, I, I think you could do it. I think I could, but you're, like imagine I'm worried I about hit how long. it and then the tire just starts rolling. I think <laughs> I think only short people should do it. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> only, only tall people are going on it, right? That's yeah. what I heard when I came out here. Any words of wisdom you want from your brother? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's either gonna not work for Corey at all and I'll be the only one that can make it around or maybe Gunner. You got everything twisted. Think about it, is he gonna have enough speed to go down and up and around? Like, just, me, I'm gonna have way too there, much. There's not enough run up to not have enough speed. Like, there's so much, like, there's not any space between the loop. It's just, you wanna make bets? <laughs> yeah, are you gonna do it? Hell no! No, I'm so f***ing nervous to you. Good luck! Thanks. You got it! Can I soak you up, Corey? Uh... I'm down. Kevin, you know how many put this in? Oh! Right over my tailbone. He needs a butt pad. Well, I, I think I fractured a long time ago, and every time I ever even tap it, like, it impairs me for like the entire day. Are you serious? Yeah. You should uh, go to the doctor for that after we do this insane stunt. That's exactly. Try, that's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. You're gonna just try not to wash all the soap off. Corey, you're gonna come in. You're gonna hit this wall right here, huh? Maybe I should go hey, before soap. Keep keep this soap down here. But here, I'm gonna go up. Real yeah, Kobe. The final stunt at the Funk Bros house. Let's not call it that. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey. Uh, I was trying to think of something epic. What? Becoming very real now. I know. This is like this is a no joke stunt. This is scary. This is the least important thing, and I'm terrified. Like, <laughs> just do it right. quick. Yep. There you go. That's nice. good. All right, Corey. It's 100% ready now. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 
Right, hey, Drew, Drew, keep spraying the tank off because that's that's where it's, he could lose the it's most. It's good. Speed. It's literally soaked as much it as it can be. Okay. It's, it's lubed up. It's perfect. It, it's All right, ready. go around that sidewall, okay? Here we go. Landed. Hard, you have no idea. Really I literally went with BAM! Oh my god. <laughs> just that moment of everyone just waiting to see if he went all the way around and then he finally went, Yoosh! It sounded like the sound stopped. I thought he was, yeah, gonna, I thought he was gonna, straight down. gonna fall straight down yeah. too. Yeah. And then he just came around. I'm most likely not gonna do this, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Super. Don't watch this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Funk Bros. Love you. Bye. Look at my leg. Hey, bro. Bend your, your legs. Keep your head back. Count me down. Five, four, four three, three, two, one! one. That's insane. Corey did it so much smoother than I did. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's fun. Did it hurt? Thank you. A little, little bit. I think I landed on my wrist. I'll, I'll film Kate, but get up there. Uh, yeah, I'll film you filming yeah, film, me. Yeah, just film. filming up there ah, to hey, film Corey do it. Filming us watching yeah. people do it, Kate. I'll go the opposite way, so it'll be like a climb technique. <laughs> it's meant for people with like horse jockey bodies, so Corey might be the yeah. only person. Horse it's like jockey. perfectly meant for Corey. Yes. Horse jockey people are very, very small and fit. I doubted it 100%. Like, I was like, that is too small. It's not going to work. Corey's literally had this vision for like a 10 months. He thought like, he's like, wait, we can buy a big tire, cut it in half, and turn it into a loop-de-loop. -loop. Does your head hurt? Yeah, kind of. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Well, I mean, it's not that. You just put your head back, you're fine. The thing is, is I put, I put my head up because I was like, I have to see this. <laughs> it's like something you had to see. It's like trying to skydive blindfolded. It's like you have to watch the experience. I don't feel like I need to do it, so I'm not going to do it. You hear my head hit. I, just, I heard it. Oh! Can you hear it? You hear yeah, it? bro, I'm not touching that. Corey excitedly it, showing us how hard he hits his head. It's like, yeah! Out. I'm like, okay. I wouldn't be as afraid of this if I, there were some things that were changed about it. The transition from this foam to the tire is a little, little harsh. So it, it, that, that makes it a tiny bit scary. And the other thing that is kind of scary is that you have to jump just perfectly to make the right amount of speed to then clear this. And if you don't, then you could probably do what Kobe did. Those probabilities are what makes this so scary for someone like me. But if it was like something you would just sit in up there and it was just a clean loop, which is made out of wood and everything was just tip top perfect, it wouldn't be as scary because chance comes into play. It just, uh, you don't know what's gonna happen here. If Drew successfully does it, I'll do it right after. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Okay. All right, so you're going first. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> I just shoved my head back and it worked great. I was just so afraid of like me hitting my head, but it worked so well. This is Corey's dream stunt. Yeah, he's, he's been talking it. about this for forever. Uh, I'm like scared about it because I know we might have to do it. All right, ready? Yep. All right, let's do this. <laughs> head back, bend feet. Head back, bend feet. Let's do it. Oh, that was a good one. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that was so much fun. Yeah. Man, that one hurt. What happened, Corey? I just like just floated a little bit. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! Woo! Oh, he jumped a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, he was scared. like, whoop! my head back like you said yeah a lot better so, you, you going for it i don't know that's so scary you got my, my biggest fear is like the to step in and then beyond that like yeah. i know that the make forces would take me around well, the thing is i know drew can do it really well for sure but i'm a little concerned on on billy's behalf in a way but we can set you up so you can do it i really feel like well. billy would do i can it drop you like, into it so we so we know for sure that you'll, you'll get it true true you've never done the drop down no the but, thing is is you can stand on the edge and what, what we'll do is is i'll stand on one side kobe can stand on the other side and we could we'll we'll hold you over the edge so you're like dangling like this and, and you'll drop you perfectly drop. In. no yeah. matter what if you'll... that's the only thing then i I feel like I could do it. Because all you have to do is just look when you're going down, put your head back, and then just bend your legs. Is this one of those one in millions where you go first? You going for it? 
think you're gonna do it? It's kind of like one of those things, once you've made a decision, you made the decision. I, th I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, if, yeah, if Billy does it flawlessly and doesn't break his neck, I'll do it. <laughs> That's his brother right there. He's came to watch him and cheer him on to do this because, you know, you need family nearby to like donate you blood if something happens. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. That's not it. <laughs> I'm more nervous than I've ever been for anything we've ever done. Yeah. But I know it's gonna go well. Like, I'm just so nervous. Okay, let's get you up there. Yeah, Billy painted his toes just for this occasion. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen somehow. So I'm ready to go. You got, it. You got this, Billy! You always gotta do something that makes you uncomfortable and that was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. Wow, thank you, Funk Bros. If you're not subscribed after that, I, who are you? Damn, it felt good to go, like, watch you go first. Oh my God. It, like, I literally, like, almost blacked out dropping in because I was just like, I don't wanna. I was like, Billy, put your foot over. You're like, okay. I like, Billy, put your foot over. That <laughs> was so scary. How are you feeling, Drew? I'm scared. I'm actually way more, I'm like, trying to just be calm and get ready to do this. Brent, how do you feel about your boyfriend going down? I believe in him. I want him to conquer his fears and step out of his comfort zone. But I'm very terrified and it's really hard to watch. I just wanted to be over with. All right, Drew, you got it. You got this, okay? I got you, okay? There it is! All right, guys, that's the shebang. That's the final epic video we're gonna do here at the Funk Bros house. And holy sh thank you for letting us get here and helping us achieve our dreams. And now we're on to our next journey. I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm so proud of Corey for doing the craziest thing we've done here yet for the last video, which is kind of like the cherry on top. There probably might be a couple more videos here. We're not sure when we're leaving here specifically. It's gonna be soon, but I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for all your support.